bought some of this LED rope light, and it is called the RGB, which means it's red, green, and blue. It has a color changing controller on it. And I've got some old fence panels, and I'll show you what I want to do. Here is one of the fence panels that I have. I've actually got a ton of these extra for when I uh, remove some fencing. And that fencing is what is around our fire pit area there. Let me zoom in. And I've got an idea of getting some rope lighting all the way around the uh, fire pit area. The key in doing this is gonna be this old fence that I've got here. So I need to go over and pull 16 of these uh, panels that I have laying over there that I saved and I need to remove this top rail on the panel and it's held in by clips. I've already removed the clips on this one so it comes off pretty easy and this is the panel I need or the top rail. It's a huge shaped channel and I'm going to put the LED light up inside of there facing down so it gives a little bit of an underglow effect without actually being able to see the LED light bulbs themselves. So what I've done is I've removed all the clips off the ends that held that top rail on, and I'll show you what those look like real quick. Here are all the clips just off of that one section of railing, and they, they hold this top rail on here at every point of the spindle or the rail that goes upright. And I just have to cut a very little bit of the tip off of one side and now they, they re-snap in like as if they were hooked into the rail at that point. But what I'm going to do is put this rope lighting down in the channel like that. And put these clips in here. Snap them in and that's what will hold the rope lighting in. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some holes drilled through these channels. They were originally drilled in and had just one hole that went into the post, but I've got to drill a second hole. And then I'm going to counter bore or countersink each hole and then put this in and screw it to the uh, railing spindle or the railing upright post, I should call or should say. That's what will hold the rail on all the way around the uh, additional fencing. So I'm basically adding a, an additional rail. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and attach that. And then that gives me a place to tuck the LED lighting. It does two things. It One, it holds it up. It keeps it out of the weather. And also it allows me that we don't have LED lights around the pool area shining in people's eyes. It's just a direct underglow, if you will. And a true underglow is it just gives the light off. It doesn't, uh, or you don't actually see the, the LED lights themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, scavenge up a bunch of these panels and start taking the top rails off, drilling the holes, and pulling the clips off of them and reusing those clips inside the rail to hold the lights in. Spent a little bit of time trying to come up with the best way that this wouldn't look too uh, garbagey and should blend right in. You shouldn't be able to see it from the outside of the fence because part of that rail actually will hide this rail or the second rail down will hide it. So let's go ahead and start getting some panels tore apart. All right, I grabbed 20 of these sections of uh, old railing I had. Some of them are pretty beat up, but most of them are beat up on the bottom side down there. And like I said, I want the top side just this rail because that's the only one that doesn't have holes through it for the spindles. So those with no holes, then I can use that as a U-channel and uh, tuck the lights up under there. And then each one of these that I pull off, you can see some of them are bent, some of them are kind of destroyed. But uh, when I take the clips off of all of these, I'll be able to use most of those clips to hold the LED lighting in. And then, like I said, I'll show you how I'm going to attach these to the uh, posts. So, using my little Harbor Freight gooseneck trailer that I did a video on, we'll get these strapped on here and get it back over to the workshop.
said, I need 16 of these rails. And I only need the rail only. You can see I've taken it off of that one there. And what I'm doing, bring it in here to the workshop and put it in the vise with the good side up that I need. Clamp it down. And then I've got to take and yank on this top rail to get it to slide out of all of those clips that are holding that thing on. So let me get the camera set up and show you what I got to do there. So I get the top rail off and then I go in and just use a pair of pliers to pop those clips off. All right, these are the clips that I'm pulling out of there and they've got a little compression latch on this side and then two barbed hooks on this side of it and they go into a rectangular hole and uh, so i got to compress this clip and then pull it down and out away from that and again like i said i take and i cut just a little bit of this piece off because you can see one side's a little bit longer and if i leave it that long it doesn't give me any room under the bottom side of it to hold the led lights up in there so was able to reuse 100% of this uh, old railing that was just laying over there for a project I knew someday I would use. So now I take my channel locks and I go in here and squeeze this latch and pull it out. There you go, all the clips are out and removed. And this panel goes back on the pile for the uh, what might I be able to use it again for later? the clips I needed to uh, clip in underneath those rails to hold the LED lights in. I've got all the uh, upper rails that I needed. I needed 16 of them out there and I uh, actually did 18 in case one of them's bent or screwed up at the ends that I might have missed when I was uh, tearing them apart. But now I've got to go ahead and I'm going to clean these all off. I'll wash them up uh, because there is a lot of dirt and debris all over them from sitting over in the woods there in the pile. Get that all cleaned up, spray the rails out, spray the tracks out. And then uh, I got some holes that I have to drill into the sides of them. Because it's like I said earlier, I'm using these self-tapping screws. And I got a countersink one side. These are the only self-tappers I got that were long enough. So I'm going to drill a hole on each side of this through there. So these threads don't bite into this. Because if it does... It'll want to pull this out before it gets to drilling through the post. So I want to make sure there's clearance holes through these. Then the drill end on this self-tapper will only bite into the post itself. Keep me from screwing anything up there. And uh, I guess then we can start putting them up and figuring out how we're going to fish this through it. And then putting the clips in. All right, I've got a couple of the rails on across here and you can see where the uh, plug end comes out. It'll come down to the plug there and those are tucked up underneath that rail into that U-channel so you cannot see the lights anywhere in there. And they come out here. Let's see if I can get a uh, shot up underneath. There's the LEDs up underneath. And now what I have to do is probably the hardest part and the most difficult about this is I've got to create an arch that comes up over and across and down because I want those lights to continue across. I don't have a way to plug another set in here and continue down. 
so I want it to be all one strand. I want this archway to be lit up as well and then go down and follow those channels under there. And I've got a couple more on just so I could get a reference of a dimension from here over to there where these actual rails stopped. So I've got those rails put on, made a fixture so each one was going to be put in the same position at the same height. And when you look at it down level ground, it's the same height minus one inch from that other one. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get this arch up here or get it figured out anyhow. And what I've got is that same U-channel and cut 22 and a half degree on each, each point. And it's going to go up here something like this with the arch flat at the top and then an angle going back down. So let me see if I can't get something figured out with that. All right, I got the arch up and I got it made there. And what I did was put a 45 and a 45. This was this over here was one piece and this over here was another piece and I took a piece of aluminum black aluminum wrapped it and bent it and then pop riveted it around it that way the bottom side is still open and the LEDs are up and around there so now the LEDs are in that archway as the doorway uh, seven foot from there to the ground and now I just got to finish putting the LEDs all the way around here with the rest of the rails. So hold tight and we'll get those in and hopefully get this done here before the sun drops below the, the hillside over there. And uh, can get to see what this looks like tonight. Well, it is about 11 p.m. Friday evening. I've got all the uh, LED lights up in underneath that rail. Lit up all the way around the fence here on the fireplace area. I'll just show you real quick up underneath here. They're in a channel bar or channel. And like I showed you earlier, it was part of the top of the old fence of some stuff I had. But uh, boy, I really like that look going around this fence here. And it lights up the area. And now you can see when you get up and walk away from the fireplace. Oh, and I think Kitty approves of the lighting, too. She came over to see what I was up to. And maybe get a little bit of petting. One other thing that uh, I had said earlier is the, the RGB red, green, blue LEDs. And uh, comes with a little remote control, and they do change colors. I don't think I'll ever have it on where it's uh, changing colors. Might be nice at Christmas time, but uh, not while we're sitting out here. But just wanted to show you that those particular lights uh, do change all different colors. And uh, there's a selection on the spectrum you can pick on the remote as well. So I guess I just wanted to, to point out that. And uh, boy, do I like the way that looks around here. So if you liked my use of repurposing the uh, the top rail of the old railing and uh, coming up with a way to actually conceal the LED lights within the fence there, then give me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.